In this 3-in-1 tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a shirt, a pair of leggings, and how to connect the two to make a one-piece bodysuit. Using a four-way stretch material and a pair of leggings, you're going to place your leggings on top of the material as being demonstrated. When cutting around the pant leg, remember you want to leave 5 eighths to an inch end seam or extra material for you to stitch along. From the crotch down to the ankle of the first pant leg, you're going to pin in place, then zigzag stitch. You're going to repeat this a second time for a second pant leg. Next, you're going to put the hem at the bottom of your pant legs by folding the material up one inch and then the raw edge under a fourth of an inch and pinning in place. You're going to pin in place all the way around as being shown. Remove the storage compartment from your sewing machine and place your material as shown. Now you're going to put the pant legs together so that you can actually create your leggings. One side of the pant leg should be wrong side out and the other should be right side out. The point here is to put them both together by putting one inside of the other. The one that should go inside should be the one that's right side facing out. Once you slide this through the other leg, simply make sure that you are pinning at the crotch right where the seams begin. And they need to be matched and properly aligned so that your pants are even on both sides. I'm demonstrating a little closer just to be sure you guys get this part accurate. It's fairly simple, just make sure that both ends of both pant legs match perfectly together and pin in place. And remember you're doing this starting at the crotch through the first end of the waistline and then from the crotch again to the other end of the waistline. And then after you're all done pinning in place, you're going to stitch all the way around from waistline to waistline. Let's begin with making our top. I'm using a pattern that I made out of a tank top, but you can use your tank top. You're going to place the tank top on the material exactly as you did your leggings, pin in place, and cut. Remember you need to make two of these to complete your top. Next we'll place our two pieces together to begin to create our shirt. What you're going to do is just line them together exactly as being demonstrated. If you would like more of a neckline in the front though, I suggest you do it before pinning as I have done, but it's totally optional if you want to show any skin at the top of the front of your shirt. Pin in place and then sew. Remember when you're sewing the edges, so the two sides on the shirt and the shoulders, you're going to zigzag stitch so that your, your material stretches when you put it on. You are going to straight stitch around the neckline only so that it's a perfect neat finish. In this step, you're simply going to cut the sleeve off of an old shirt to create a pattern for the new sleeve on your new shirt. Exactly as demonstrated, cut the material exactly as shown, pin in place onto your new fabric, and then cut around. After you're all done, you're going to fold the sleeve in half, pin in place, and zigzag stitch from the top all the way down to the bottom. The only part not demonstrated on the sleeve is the hem that you're going to put at the bottom of the sleeve. And you're simply going to repeat exactly what we did for the bottom of the leggings at the ankle. Now we're going to put our sleeve onto our shirt. The concept is the same as how we did with putting our two pant legs together to create our actual leggings. I've done the first side. On the other side, you're going to make sure the right side of your sleeve is facing the right side of your tank top. Put it inside exactly as being demonstrated. And again, remember exactly as you put the materials together 
for the two pieces for the leggings. This is the same concept. Line up where the seam begins, pin in place, and then pin all the way around. No worries if your top and your sleeve entrance is a little bit different in size. Because the material stretches four ways, you can stretch and pin. And as you are sewing, you're also going to stretch and sew. And it'll fit perfectly fine. For those of you who would like a separate top and a separate pair of leggings to wear at different times, then you'll stop here. The only step you need to do is add a hem at the top of your leggings and a hem at the bottom of your shirt. And this will be the same process as the one you took to put a hem at the bottom of your leggings and the bottom of the sleeve of your shirt. For those of you who would like to create a one-piece bodysuit, then you will follow the next step. Now we're going to connect our two pieces by having the pants right side out and our top wrong side out. Make sure the front of the legging and the front of the shirt both are on the same side. And the concept is the same as when you added your sleeve and when you added your leggings together. Right side should be together and you're going to do exactly as I am demonstrating. Once you're all done pinning in place, you're simply going to sew all the way around using a zigzag stitch so that the fabric stretches when you put it on. And after you complete this step, you are all done. I wish you guys the best of success with creating your own one-piece jumpsuit, top, and or pair of leggings. To learn more about me, you can do so by visiting my site at Carmenville.com. You can also find me across the internet on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram as Carmenville. Don't forget to subscribe and comment or suggest anything below, and I will be in touch with you guys again soon. Bye!